Hey everybody, Jess here, Key Tarot. Welcome to you all. This is going to be a real quick general reading. I don't know who it will be for or what it will be about. Let's say a blessing and we will get started, all right? Holy Spirit, thank you for being with us here today and in every breath that we take. We ask that these messages be received by those who are meant to hear them. Amen. I honestly don't know, guys. We'll see. I, I have no... Um, preconceived ideas or notions about what this is going to be about. I'm going to start with this. Actually, I'm going to start with this Deviant Moon Tarot. Let's give this a shuffle. All right, fair enough. <laughs> I get the devil on the bottom of the deck. Fair enough. All right, somebody wants to make a bunch of changes in their lives. Good. I don't know if this is you or if this is someone that you are involved with. Move all this stuff. Um, yeah, there's there are some big, 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 big serious problems here with this devil energy. The devil can represent addiction. It can represent toxicity. It can represent a toxic relationship. Um, it can be someone with. Um, unchecked mental health issues. This person wants to make a change. They want to make a change very quickly. Um, I get the impression that you're either friends with this person or you have a new relationship with this person. This person's going through a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety. This person feels very alone right now. This person is, um, maybe sulking a little bit. Maybe really feeling the pain of some things that they have done. They want a new beginning, that's for sure. They recognize that they need to make some very big changes in their lives. Um, they want a serious commitment from you. I feel like this is someone you're dealing with. All right, I just saw 212 on the counter. Um, they want a serious commitment from you. This person may be struggling with some legal matters, some paperwork matters. This person may have recently been let go from a position at work. This person has a lot of problems, a lot of issues. I got the lovers that comes out there. This is a significant love relationship in your life, but there is a choice here. Either you stay or you go. What do you want to do? I, okay, so this is the Deviant Moon Tarot. It's a very popular deck. Um, specific to this deck, we have the Lovers card, right? The Lovers is a card of Gemini. It's a card of choice. It can represent a significant love relationship in your life or a significant option in your love life. Um, but specific to this deck, we have this little snake down here that's bitten someone. Um, it's, uh, I'm hearing venomous. I think this person sees you as someone they can't be without. I think they're willing to, and I, I hate to say this, but I feel like they're willing to jump through a lot of hoops in order to be with you. But I'm just not sure they're able to put their money where their mouth is. Okay. There. That's important. Ah, golly. I got this Four of Wands energy. That's that Twin Flame 1111 card. If you follow that journey at all, this may be Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine energy. We may be dealing with a, an unhealed counterpart here. Yeah. I have this Ace of Cups. This person has a really big heart and their heart is very open to you. But this person has a lot of problems. Let's get another deck and clarify. Shall we? Yeah. Um, this person does well for themselves financially. They want to blend a family with you or create a family with you. Uh, they have a lot of financial potential. However, I feel like they've taken a loss recently. This person sees you as their perfect partner. Ugh. But there's a lot of fearful energy. This person is, um, this person you're dealing with, how do I explain this? 
you know, everyone's afraid of death, right? Everyone is truly afraid of death, um, whether you admit it or not. I mean, I would say 90% of the population is quite afraid of death. This person is um, very afraid. This is someone who may not have a lot of faith in God, or if they do, they may feel like God is not going to accept them. This is kind of deep. Um, let me put that back there. I get this impression that this person is um, fearful of choices they've made in their lives. This person may um, have done some bad things in their lives. Ooh. Um, they view you as everything they could ever want. They're extremely attracted to you. They want to give you everything they could possibly give you. Um, you're meant to know this person. They are meant to know you. Okay. I'm not saying you're meant to stay with this person. I'm just telling, I'm just reading the cards as they are. Um, I've got this Empress. I've got this Ace of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles, and this Star card. We've got Virgo. We have Aquarius. I got some Taurus, I got some Gemini on here. In case that matters to you at all, I got some Libra. And Ophiuchus, um, if that resonates for you at all. Oh boy, um, this person feels like you are the one for them and they're willing to make major changes in their life for you or they say they're willing to make major changes in their lives for you however that magician energy right there can be somewhat uh, manipulative this is someone who will do whatever it's whatever they can they will they will say whatever they need to say in order to get you to believe them i got the ten of pentacles again they truly love you but there are serious mental health issues serious mental health issues here um, I feel like this entire situation is going to come to a head um, probably early fall. We're looking at October, November period. I feel like this whole situation is going to come to a head. And when I say that, I think that something, somebody's going to hit rock bottom or there's going to be some kind of a major crack in, in a structure of some sort. And somebody here is going to have to make a major decision. You may be able to keep this person at arm's length for a while if you want them in your life at all. But something is going to shift dramatically round about Scorpio season. This has everything to do with their mental health. We're looking at anything from Leo season to Scorpio season, but I'm really feeling Scorpio season is when it's, it's gonna hit. I really feel like whoever I'm reading for here, you need to be very strong in this situation and you need to have very firm boundaries with this person. Whether you love this person, you don't love this person, whether you want this person to be a part of your life or not, they're, they're kind of hell bent on being a part of your life. And it's really up to you whether or not you allow them to be in your life. This person does have very serious mental health issues. And I don't feel like they have um, taken care of them. They are kind of devoutly in love with you. I feel like this person either had money and lost it, or they have a like a high position at work, but it's very um, tenuous right now. Um, or they have a lot of potential to be very stable, but they have not found their way yet. How much do you want to put up with? That's the question. How much do you want to put up with? I see a very strong sexual attraction between the two of you. I see a lot of friendship between the two of you. I see um, someone that you're meant to know, someone who's meant to be on your path. I see someone that um, you may have had plans to live with or marry or have a relationship with. And they see you as kind of the be all end all. 
I feel like you may have stopped talking to them for a while and now you're starting to talk to them again. There may have been a separation time for the two of you. Whoever I'm reading for here, whoever you are, you're very independent and you don't really need anyone in your life, but you're very compassionate. And but there's something about this person that you almost can't say no to. I think you see the potential in this person, but you're very wise, you're very intelligent, you're very psychically developed, whoever you are. I mean, honestly, you really know the truth about this situation. It's, it's really about how much do you want to put up with? Is this actually ever going to get any better? Let's look. Um, basically what really connects the two of you to one another is um, a lot of sexual compatibility, a lot of physical attraction, and I do think that you want the same things out of life ultimately. But I think I'm reading for someone who could be happy with a lot of different people. Again, it's how much do you want to put up with? This person's probably gonna blow your phone up. If they aren't already doing it, they're going to soon. Again, very manipulative, the magician out there again. Same card, different decks. This is gonna be a very on again, off again relationship. You're gonna to have to have very healthy boundaries, very healthy boundaries with this person. This person says, please let's start over again. We'll go slower this time. One or the other of you. Um, somebody here may be a Sagittarius. Somebody here may be an Aquarius. This person's very, this person that you're looking at here is very charismatic, very um, physically active, very attractive. Or you are one or the other or both of you. Oh, this just screams toxicity to me. However, I do see that this person is crazy madly in love with you. You may feel the same way about them. But again, we have some unchecked mental health issues. Okay, so here's the dealio. Um, I have the Hierophant in the reverse. I was... Um, just kind of hoping to kind of find out what you need to do here. And, you know, I love to boss, but I, I hate to boss you at the same time because you just want me to read the cards. I have the higher event in the reverse here. And I would just encourage you. I, I think I said this just a couple of minutes ago. I would encourage you not to commit to this person long term. I would um, encourage you to wait to see how this goes. I would encourage you to wait, maybe keep this person at an arm's length until you see what they're gonna do because I don't trust this person, you don't trust this person. This person has a lot of, um, a, kind of an uphill battle they need to, to slog through and I hate for you to be dragged down into it. So healthy boundaries are very important in this relationship, whatever it is, whether it's romantic or platonic, I don't know, but um, it does feel like you need some really healthy boundaries here in order to protect yourself um, this person has every intention of being with you long term. Um, it's really up to you what you want in your life. They see you as everything they could ever want. And they don't want anybody else but you. But I do think this is going to be very on again, off again until this person gets the help that they need. And even then, even if they do get the help that they need, I can't guarantee you that this is all gonna be sunshine and roses after that, or that anything's gonna be okay after that even. I would encourage you to, if, if you are so inclined to stay in contact with this person, to do so. However, I would, I would lighten it. Um, this seems to be kind of a heavy relationship I think maybe 
maybe you try not to see each other in person for a while and maybe just communicate online and see if they do the work or not. Because this person that you're dealing with, they feel like they're at risk of losing it all again. The star card Aquarius again. Um, this person has a tendency to be quite combative, argumentative, um, possibly abusive, verbally abusive. Um, uh, not a fan. For some reason, you see potential in this situation. You see potential in this person. I think this person promises you a lot of empty promises, but you haven't seen them delivered on yet. And I think there's still hope that you have in your heart for this person. I think I'm reading for someone who's very good and very kind and very forgiving and very loving. Mm -hmm, I do. I do believe that this person does truly love you deeply. And I think the same, I think you feel the same way about them but I don't think it's necessarily emotionally safe for you to be in this relationship. So you make the decisions you want to make given this reading. Um, I would say keep them at an arm's length and see if they do the work. They might, they might. Um, what's meant to be is meant to be, you know, um, we're meant to meet the people that we're going to meet. And I always say it, you'll hear me repeat myself all the time because I'm old. So I do that. Um, but I always say soulmates will find you no matter what, even if they have to hit you with their car, they will find you. This person has found you and they're definitely a soulmate energy. Um, someone you're meant to know, someone who you're meant to change or they are meant to change you in some capacity. Um, but I encourage you not to subject yourself to any kind of um, abuse or to tolerate anything that simply isn't for you, isn't for your highest good. This will be a challenging relationship for you. I wish you the very best with this. If this was your reading and if you're still feeling a little bit uncertain or unsure and you want to book a personal reading all that information is in the about section of our channel over here um otherwise i thank you for your likes and your subscribes um and do reach out if you need to um, i'm terrible about answering comments absolutely i am <laughs> especially with the kids out of school um i'm terrible about answering comments but i will get to them eventually and I do read them all. It just takes me a little bit of time to get there. I love you all very much. And if this is your story, um, hang in there. But I'm telling you, healthy boundaries is what you need here. All right? I understand love is love. But healthy boundaries are really important here. All right? Mwah to you all.